Well, howdy do day, and welcome back to the channel. And today we're back in the Yorkshire Dales, and the heart of the Yorkshire Dales, Ribblehead Viaduct. As you can see, the sun's just breaking through now. So it is the night before the very first meetup. So Rick's come down with us. He's met us up. He's out with us tonight. So we are spending the night on here down at Ribblehead, ready for tomorrow. But tonight. We're going up to the crags up there, up to the limestone, for sunset. And also, it's give out a clear night tonight. So this could be a three image video as such. So we are going up there for sunset. Tonight we're hoping for clear skies and hopefully the Milky Way, the Milky Way core above Ribblehead. But <laughs> fingers crossed, it clears tonight. And then hopefully in the morning, Another shot for sunrise, because sunrise will be still on my left hand side. So yeah, fingers crossed, that's what this one is about today. So come along and see if it all happens. <laughs> now we've just come up to one of the outcrops now as you can see. And near the limestone. A nice limestone pavement, but look at this light behind us. Gas in shadows and everything. But about 10 minutes time, I reckon it's, yeah, I reckon it'll be sun start time. Right above Wormside there. And hopefully, might cast on these, these clouds as well. So, but yeah, when we get up here, on this limestone, as always, I'll get a time lapse set up for you. But composition wise, I was just over at this left hand side, getting into it, all this limestone leading you on. But I have moved over a touch. Got the wide angle lens on now, looking down on this limestone here, because it's a bit more of a pattern to bring you in. The sky at the minute, that all brings you into the viaduct as well. But it's just catching on this right hand side. So, but did get a bit of a sun star early on with the break in the clouds. Just hoping this low cloud is cleared underneath, right back of Wernside. Plus if it is, that could really glow. Could really be nice, could that? But the reason I put the wide angle lens on, as well as the, this limestone just down here, I wanted to get Ingleborough in as well. So you've got two of the three peaks in, in one shot. You've got Ingleborough, the viaduct and Wernside. It is just starting to light up a bit more now, so I am on fully manual at the minute. F11, fully manual, so all I'm doing is adjusting the shutter speed to, to react to this sky. So fingers crossed, all this happens. <laughs> I'll put a few of the images up now with a time lapse, and then I'll come back to you in the, mean, in the meantime, I'll um, carry on shooting. So yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Back to you now. Looks like the sun is going to break through the clouds on the right hand side. But currently, I'm on vertical orientation, just taking in these three crags here. Just to try and get as much of this sky in as possible. Just look at this at the minute. Even though it's, the light's quite flat, it is coming through that cloud there, but casting all over. You can see a bit of light as well, just inside of Ingleborough over there. So, yeah, it's happening. It's starting to happen. So, fingers crossed. And it is clear, clearing behind us. So, fingers crossed for later on as well. I have just had photo pills out. We've had a quick look, try and get the composition ready for later. We are going to go a bit lower to the viaduct. I'll put the wide angle lens on and looking straight up. Because around about half 11 tonight, if it's clear, the Milky Way core is directly above the viaduct. So, we're hoping, hoping that works. But for the time being, I'll put this vertical shot on. I'll do a horizontal as well, so you can see the both, um, but I'm going to get back to this light. Now 
Uh, we are starting to get snubbed out a bit. However, even though we are getting flat light, look at this sky. We are just waiting and waiting now until the sun does drop a little bit more. Just see if it does catch all this. Because in the background there, it is glowing lovely and pink all the way across. But I've just moved literally 10 foot from just over here, where I was. Just being careful on this limestone. Like I keep saying it is, lethal is this stuff, so always be careful where you're putting your feet. But I've come a bit further. Vertical orientation, just catching this corner here, which leads you straight down. Just looking for nice, nice patterns, just to lead you straight into the image. But yeah, another vertical one this, only because I'm trying to emphasize that sky now. We're just hoping it is gonna kick off a little bit. But what I do, I'll bob another time lapse on for you. And you can see how this is progressing. All right, peeps, I've just seen from what time lapse, it did get a bit snubbed out, but we got some nice, nice color in the background and there was a bit of color just see inside of Ingleborough. So hopefully I was wide enough to get that. So I might be able to bring that out in a bit of post. But we've packed away now. So you've just seen that time lapse. I will put the final images on. I was messing around with vertical, horizontal. So just try and make use of the foreground leading you in. Because obviously that sky, that sky were great with that. Just with that extra bit of a extra oomph. But that's why we'll come out anyway to try this. But what we're going to do, we're going to mosey on round now to foot of, foot of Ribble Head and then get a composition for tonight so then hopefully we can get that Milky Way coming straight up because there's a bank of cloud behind us but it is dissipating in the distance so I had a quick look on photo pills so around about between 11 and half 11 tonight that'll be optimum time so when it's dark I'll get my head torch on I might have a bit of red glow to my face. <laughs> You'll see us then. So enjoy these images from the sunset part of this vlog. peeps there you go that's gonna be roughly the composition for tonight so we have just done a little recce now just to sort that out so you'll see us again tonight hopefully capturing that Milky Way coming over and it will be it won't be going across it'll be on a vertical of the Milky Way so fingers crossed tonight's the night we get it but either way you'll see us when it's pitch black. But howdy doody. I'm back with you now. Obviously it's night time. So we are going for the Milky Way. And I have a bit of a confession to make to you. This isn't the same night as it was going to be. Because the same night as it was going to be, I cocked up. So I'll put the image up now for you. And you can see why I cocked up and you'll tell straight away but I had a new lens on I got a bit excited put it to infinity and I didn't check the focus even though it was on, on infinity it wasn't quite so yeah learning curve this always check the images afterwards so this is what two nights later on we still have got clear skies it is a, a, a lot colder than what on Saturday and we have Simon Sugden behind us. He fancied it, so he's coming along. So he's getting excited. <laughs> so yeah, Phil, Phil's behind as well. So yeah, there's a few of us. So Simon's got a book out, Abandoned Britain. 
So if you want a copy of that, I'll put, you can have a quick nosy now. I'll put you a few screenshots of it up, but I'll tag it all at bottom anyway. Philip's into his trained. So Philip's into his trained. He loves, he loves Ribble Head. So I'll put his PRB photography link below. So he, he likes his train, so you can just see a couple of head torches there coming. So, but yeah, as you can see, on the breath, it is quite, it's quite um, cool this evening. So yeah, we are going to go try and get the Milky Way, the same composition as that one I shot last time. So yeah, fingers crossed this time we'll get that focus sorted out. Uh, we have just done one or two shots now. We have got a bit of cloud coming in, but you can still see the Milky Way. This won't pick it up, but you can see the Milky Way car coming right down above it. So a couple of us, a couple of verticals. We are going to walk around the path now, get more centralised over the viaduct. So I'll bump these first few on, and then hopefully the focus has sorted itself out this time. So fingers crossed. <laughs> We have come under the bridge now. You probably just make it out, we've got the head torches on up there. So we are looking up and over. Someone's got his head torch right in my face, look. <laughs> so yeah, come a bit further down, looking straight up. Done a vertical and an horizontal one. But we are gonna move around now, just to see what else we can get. But yeah, it's working a bit better now. Now we've got a bit closer to the viaduct, so yeah. I'll pop these up, you can have a nosy. back with you now sorry I couldn't really show you what was going on because we couldn't see ourselves half at the time <laughs> so I'll pop all the shots on for you what we've got a couple of different angles looking down because obviously the Milky Way car didn't move but we're on to way back now anyway because the cloud has come in so I'll pop all the shots on for you Simon's first time doing it have you enjoyed it really enjoyed it yeah yeah it's been great what a beautiful location so, thank you Darren so yeah, yeah we got it. Good we night, it, guys. <laughs> and they even so, got a train coming over. Oh, this lucky bugger <laughs> timed it right. <laughs> Maintenance train came over. He's got a right shot. What I'll do, I'll get him to send me the shot, and I'll bob that up for you as well. I'll tag him in on it so you can see it. But yeah, he got well lucky with that one. So, but yeah, what a cracker. So yeah, so I'll see you a lot in the morning when we do the sunrise, which. I did on Saturday, but you'll see it next. <laughs> so I'll see you in the morning. Well, good morning, peeps. As you saw from last night, well, the night shots. Hopefully they've all come out. You'll know before me, because you'll have seen them already before I've even got home. <laughs> well, we are making his way up, back up to the viaduct now, just for the sunrise. You see in the background, there's a bit of colour just starting to emerge. There's some high cloud as well that's coming over. So that is looking nice, is that? Nothing over this side yet, but walking down, Ingleborough has some low mist around it. So and that's that's where we're heading off for the meetup, just round there. So, but for the time being, we're going up to the viaduct on the far side. So when I get there, I'll bob a time lapse up, get that going, and then, as always, I'll come back to you and let you know what we're doing. So stay tuned. <laughs> right, peeps, got to a bit of a viewpoint now, just where Ingleborough comes above. The viaduct, as you can see, some low lying mist going out the tops of Ingleborough. 
since that's changed we have got a bit of mist in the valley as well coming on looks like the light is getting slightly snubbed out but hopefully when that crests all oh, this bank will light up we've got some low cloud as well top of worn size so yeah could be a nice eventful morning this fingers crossed so anyway i'll get time out sorted out i'll bob that on and then i'll come back to you Right, it's just a very quick time lapse there because I just want to show you something. On the top of Ingleborough, all this wispy cloud look, we are starting to get a touch of pink, but I'm just going to spin you around to my left hand side. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> we are hoping, well, this cloud is slowly drifting over here, over this side, above the viaduct, which is the composition. So I'll just quickly show you the back of the camera. So I've got the viaduct there on the bottom third. Bit of grass leading you onto it, nothing much, because it's all about the viaduct, Ingleborough in the background, and hopefully all this lot catching. It is starting to do at this left hand side look over here, and it is starting to catch very, ever so slightly. But once that rises, it'll cast the light straight onto the viaduct. So that's what we're hoping for. So, yeah, what I might do, try and get, try and get somewhere where out of this grass so I can put the time lapse on for you. Because you've got to experience this. We are getting diffused a little bit over in the left-hand side there. This will mist in the valley. There's a touch of pink just on the, the fell there just before you get to Ingleborough, which is now covered in cloud. I've had a bit of a time lapse going, but I'm just going to show you. A look at that. As you saw from a previous vlog, when I specifically shot Wernside, which I'll link up here for you if you haven't seen that one, it is getting lit up pink again. So we're just hoping when it breaks, it just casts a bit more light onto the viaduct because that's all it's missing is this image. We've got the low cloud, the high cloud, the viaduct. It's just missing that little bit of light. So fingers crossed it happens. But so far, I'll put the images on what we've got now after these little bit of a time lapses you've just seen. And then we just wait and see now. Just wait and see what happens with this light. Right, I think that's your lot, peeps, literally. 30 seconds after just turning you off then, just turn you around. We have been well and truly snubbed out. But we've got the pre-sunrise light anyway. So, but if you don't get out, you don't get to see these things or experience it. So yeah, just get out and experience it. And one day it will happen. As you've seen in that previous vlog, which is up there somewhere. <laughs> so yeah, this one now, I'm going to turn it to black and white because we've got the nice clouds above it. Ingleborough covered, so I'll end with this black and white one. I was going to put the drone up, but with no colour, I don't think I'll bother because we have got the meat up today over on Southern Scales. So if I vlog that, you'll see that next week. I'm not too sure whether I'm going to do it or not yet because it's all just about getting out, getting people out and exploring. So yeah, if you've enjoyed this, please give us a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. We are getting there with the views and that. But as has the, every little helps, <laughs> or one of them. So yeah, I'll see you again on the next one. I'll end with all the final images now. See you next time. <laughs>